Hey everybody, this is Phil with internetincomepower.com and today I have a Seattle SEO video for you. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to compare two different dentist offices and show you why one is ranking essentially number one for the keyword Seattle dentist and another one is not ranking until the third page of Google which is essentially invisible in Google. So we'll talk about why that's happening what the guy on the third page could do to improve, and also what it means for each dentist, you know, what kind of traffic they get from this particular keyword based on where, where they're ranked. So even if, if you're a Seattle business, for example, even if you're not a dentist, you'll learn something from this video. So uh, I would definitely recommend watching it. All right, so what I did was I searched for the term Seattle Dentist in Google, and I chose the first dentist listed. We do have Yelp above them, but we're not going to count that. So uh, the first dentist listed is westseattledentist.com. Okay, so uh, I chose them because they're number one. And then I went to page three. I think it was page three and chose just a random dentist on page three. Here it is. Uh, Magnolia Dental Care, Dr. Kent Moberly.com. I don't know any of these dentists. Uh, this is just random that I uh, chose these. So uh, let's jump into it. First of all, the keyword Seattle dentists, let's take a look at that in Google to see what kind of traffic that gets. Now, and that's only one keyword. I mean, a dentist can have, you know, you could have 50 different keyword phrases that are leading traffic to your site. So uh, this is only one of those keywords, but you can you know, use this methodology with all keywords, okay? So if we look at the keyword Seattle Dentist, the exact match, meaning people type in exactly that, Seattle Dentist, gets approximately 720 local searches per month. And that's just for that one term, okay? Now, if you were to advertise for that keyword, then your cost per click would be around almost $14 per click. So we'll come back to that in a minute. But 720 searches per month, approximately, for Seattle Dentist. Let's go over and look at some data. This is a chart that shows you approximately, and this is proven and tested, approximately what percentage of clicks you get based on your position in Google. So if you're position one for a keyword, you will get approximately 42% of the clicks. If you're position two, you'll get almost 12%. If you're in position 10, which is still on the first page of Google, you'll get about just under 3%, okay? So the dentist that I show on page three He's like the 20, his, his, he's in position like 27 or 28. So if position 10 is only getting 3%. Position 27 is probably getting uh, 0.001%. So almost nothing. Okay. Let's look at position one. It's going to get around 42% of the clicks. So if we come back to our data and there's 720 local monthly searches, so 720 times 42% means that the dentist in number one position will get around 300 clicks per month from that one keyword. That's just approximate, could be a little more, could be a little less, but around 300 clicks from the one keyword. Now, if we look at the cost per click, 1392, that's what it would cost approximately to advertise for that keyword. You'd be paying around $13.92 per click. So remember, the dentist in position one is getting 300 clicks for free every month. So if we did 300 and we multiplied that by $13.92 each, that's over $4,000. So the dentist that is in position one of Seattle Dentist is essentially getting around $4,000 per month worth of free traffic because of where they're positioned in Google. OK, 
Okay, because they're position one. And a dentist who is not position one, in this case, the dentist that's on page three, would have to spend thousands of dollars to show up on page one and be over here in the ads, okay? Or they could hire a search engine optimizer like myself to get them up here, okay? But I'm gonna show you, we're gonna compare the two sites real quick. So this is the site that's on page one. It's listed number two right behind Yelp, but it's the number one dentist site uh, on page one of Google currently. So we have just a basic home page. It's got a nice picture and just a little bit of text. And it's got actually a nice box here with their phone number and also a contact form. And that shows up well. So I like how they did that. They have an about us page, which actually is really bad. It's just, uh, just a bunch of text all jumbled together. They could do much better on this. There's no pictures, there's no formatting. So it's a bad about us page. If we look at their dental services, it's all right, it could be much better, but it's just got a bunch of services listed. What they should do is create some pages for some of these services uh, and create more content on their site. But uh, they don't need to right now because there's not enough competition um, SEO wise, not enough dentists are competing with them, so there's no need. They have patient resources and forums, that's good and they have a blog. It's always good to have a blog and then a contact us page. So pretty basic. And then up here also a good phone number that's visible and address. So this is the site that's number one. Let's look at the uh, Magnolia Dental Care. This is the site that is on page three. They're like number 27 or 28. They're not getting any traffic from the Seattle dentist term. They would have to spend thousands to get it unless they had a good search engine optim optimizer like myself. Uh, so let's look at their site. I actually think their site looks better than the site that's number one. Uh, I like the colors better. Looking at their homepage, I like how the dentist has a picture of himself here. There's some good formatting. Now, uh, one thing I'd recommend to uh, Dr. Kent Moberly is on the homepage, he needs to have a much larger phone number and address. Here it is right here, but it's small. It's not highlighted at all. So I would put that front and center and in much larger print. So I would do that. I like that he was a top dentist in 2013. Uh, that's good. If you look at About Us, he definitely has a better About Us page just because of the picture here. He could do more with the stuff here, but it's better than the site that's ranked number one. Then he's got some good services here, and there's actually, it looks like, um, four different pages describing some services. That's better than the site that's number one as well. Staff, he's got uh, a staff page with some images. Technology, he's got insurance and financial stuff, um, and forms, and contact. So if I were to judge just this site compared to the site that's number one in Google, I actually like this site better. It does a better job, it's got more content, it's got more information. The only two drawbacks from this site are their phone number and address should be bigger and uh, definitely larger font and highlighted more on the site and, and in the header as well. And number two, there's no blog. So they should definitely have a blog. But that's not why they aren't on page one of Google, okay? because this site is not as good, it doesn't have as much info. But the true reason that this site is essentially receiving almost $4,000 worth of free traffic every month, and this site is receiving no free traffic at all, even though it's a little bit better designed, the true reason is links, pure and simple. The links that are coming to the site. So. Being a search engine optimization expert, I have software where I can analyze different websites. And this is a screenshot of some analyzation of that. This right here in the first column is the dentist ranking number one. And this is the dentist ranking on the third page, like number 27 or 28, okay? And this is for their home page. 
And if you look, this dentist is winning every single category by far. And one of the big things is links. If you look at total external links, this dentist has 35, at least 35 links coming to that page. This dentist, uh, Dr. Kent Mobley, has zero links coming to the page. That right there is the number one main reason why this dentist right here is ranking number one and this dentist is ranking like number 27 is links. It all comes down to links. Now that's for that particular page. If we go down to the main website, the total domain, this Dr. Kent Moberly actually has for total links, if you look at total external links, he's got six links. For total links, he's got 460, but the only ones that matter in this case are the external. That means links from other websites. So he's got six links, whereas the dentist ranking number one has 39 links. So what Dr. Kent Moberly needs to do is go out and get some links more than 39 and make a few on-page changes that I mentioned and uh, do a couple other things. But if he does just a few basic things, he could be ranking very possibly number one, number one or real close to that and getting thousands of dollars worth of free traffic every month. And if you can imagine, you know, even one or two new customers a month, I mean, that's a lot of money for a dentist. So it's well worth it. So uh, if you're watching this and you're a Seattle area business and you do want some advice on how to make more money online, how to grow your business, how to uh, get better rankings in the search engines, etc., let me know. I'm an SEO and marketing expert and I am based in Seattle. I'm local. So call me or email me and you can visit me at internetincomepower.com. Also, you should subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'll be doing more videos like this from all different types of industries, showing why certain sites are ranking and others are not. And we'll jump into more data and tips on how you can rank your site and make more money with your business online.